now with your rotor speed selected and the rotor engaged, you're ready to plunge into the cut. By using the rotor height control buttons in yellow on the joystick, the lower button will lower the rotor to your desired depth. You can see in the top left hand corner of this display, as the rotor is lowered, the numbers change, indicate the rotor's relative position to the surface of material. There is also a visual indicator at the lower right hand corner of the display that gives a pictorial reference of relative rotor position, again in relation to the surface of material or the zero set point for rotor depth. Once you have reached your desired depth, you simply depress the detent on the joystick and begin to propel forward. This will move you through the cut at your desired speed. Working speed can be adjusted by the speed control knob on the right hand console. Once in the cut, door openings can be adjusted on the joystick as I mentioned with the rear door aperture up and down buttons here and the front door aperture up and down buttons here. So in the display the operator can monitor the opening both front and rear and in the camera display if equipped can see the material exiting the chamber through the rear door. The RM400 is also equipped with a rear door float feature. The center button between the rear door up and down buttons is a soft button when activated, a wavy line appears beneath the rear door aperture indicator. And you can see that this door drifted down to zero because we've now allowed that door to float. The float feature also can be adjusted in the rotor screen. You can adjust down pressure on that rotor door if you'd like to strike off material. This feature allows the operator to run the machine without having to constantly monitor the opening of the rear door, allowing that door to float. If the rotor door opening switches are touched to adjust rotor door, the machine automatically comes out of the float mode. So if rotor door float is desired after that adjustment is made, simply touch the soft button between the up and down switches and the rotor door will be back in float mode as indicated by the wavy line.